Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I learned this term in biomedical engineering. Once again, make sure to subscribe for, to End Stories for more videos and give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's just get into it. Oh, I didn't see there. I was just admiring the view from the Rose Garden. Another class that I'm studying is CLST 260, which is spectacles in the Greek and Roman world. And it's super interesting that in engineering, you have to take two humanities courses before you graduate. And you can kind of choose to take these whenever you want during your degree. So I decided to take mine now. And you can pick from a ton of different humanities courses. And it's really great to kind of get like a different style of course where you get to try writing essays and like reading a bit more and yeah. In that class, I basically had to do one midterm, one final, and then we got to do this big term assignment. And so for our assignment, we had to design our own Roman game. So we had to design like who we were gonna have, we had to make a budget for it, we had to make a timeline, and all the different kinds of events we wanted to include in. And it was actually really fun. Okay, now we're gonna go to the chem building. The next class that I took this term was Chem 233, and that was organic chemistry. So let's talk a bit about more about that. 233, we do organic chemistry, so that's tons of different reaction mechanisms. So yeah, if you're interested in biomedical engineering, it's definitely not a ton, a ton of chemistry. Once you go into like informatics or systems and signals, you just have to do the three and then everything else is completely separate. But if you are interested in that, you can go into the cellular stream where you take biochem, molecular biology, immunology, chemistry, and things like that. So you can definitely choose what you want to do, but I feel like a common misconception is that it's very heavily focused on biology and chemistry, which it doesn't have to be. In BMEG 230, I learned lots about static and dynamic movement and learned how to make a lot of free body diagrams on moving objects. In our labs, we did a lot of exercises with force plates and electrodes to measure muscle force and activation energy and things like that. And it was really, really cool to apply biomechanics to real life. And for our term project, a surgeon from BGH actually came in and gave a guest lecture and then we got to design and create a distal femur implant using SOLIDWORKS. The last class that I took this term was CPEN 223 and in that class I learned how to do object-oriented coding in the language C Sharp and this was a very interesting class and yeah I highly suggest um, you guys take it and in engineering everyone will take some type of coding whether it's in first year or depending on the program you'll take it further on in upper years as well. All right, guys, that's the end of this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope this gave you some insight into what people study and what we learn in biomedical engineering. Once again, just for reference, I'm in kind of third, second year because I split my second year, and yeah, I'm taking a reduced course load, but that's everything I learned, and I will do this again next term for those of you who are interested. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below which class you think is the most interesting, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!